What's up everybody, it's John from John Kill 3D Gaming here and I'm here to talk to you today about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, then I'm pretty sure you've been through every Dragon Ball Z game, but you always wanted them to make a Dragon Ball Z game where creation was in your own. The first attempt was with Xenoverse 1, though with flaws still intact from Xenoverse 1. Xenoverse 2 manages to surpass the first game in almost every way. Character creation has been upgraded though with the same four race no five races from the first game which is Frieza, Namekian, Earthling, Saiyan, and Majin both male and female for the Majin, Saiyan, and Namekian race you can customize the character to the way you see fit with different eyes different voices different colors different clothing and clothing in this game once again though I wish they would have changed it different clothing can affect your stats and I wish they would have taken that away that's the one of the downfalls from the first game is that stats can also be affected by your clothing but you have different types of stats and it depends on what you favor which could affect you but you can also change different color schemes of the Namekians the Frieza race I think the Frieza race and the Namekian have the greatest amount of customization being that alien races you have to make them look cool but I still prefer the Saiyans but I plan to give the other races a try because they each have their own benefits their own weaknesses and their own strengths in the battlefield so it all depends on which race you want and which race you per prefer but I do love that the five classes have remained the world of Koton City Toki Toki was the first hub world from the first game though small and not as expansive they took that with Koton City and they expanded it they even give you little sections of the Dragon Ball Z world like West City uh, Orange Star High School the the World Tournament Arena uh, Mount Palzu, different locations you can go to with events that actually happen in the world. This world actually has life in it. Um, when when you're in the multiplayer world, multiple players can actually run around the world and interact with you. And in the single player world, it gives you more of a chance to focus on you, and you can focus on exploring. You you find hidden items, you find different rifts that open up that you can go into massive six player multiplayer battles to help take down massive sized enemies and mentors continue to litter the world and the mentors are much easier to find must e much easier to access you can either fly around the world or ride a little vehicle and at any point you can press start to boost your attributes with skill points between max health key stamina attacks and so on and you have a handful of skills that you could transform now the skills are much easier to access super saiyan has been greatly changed where instead of individual uh, sets of transformation Super Saiyan is one set now and you can have different skills like Zen to beans and changing your equipment on the fly whether you wanna change your colors change different character to look like your favorite DBZ characters it is possible to do that you have a hand well actually more than a handful over dozens and hundreds now chain now you can also go access your bag going for your items list your items list you can collect the Dragon Balls once again to make a wish. Also, distorted time eggs. That is something you need to look out for because they can help you access bonus stories. You can interact with the NPCs to get quests, do quests for them, and also get the Dragon Balls like that. That is one of the farming ways that I know how to get the Dragon Balls. So that's a tip for you guys. Look out for NPC quests. They will provide you with the Dragon Balls. Now, parallel quests have been greatly increased. Now random events can happen more frequently in the parallel quests with three players going into these missions that increase in difficulty over 100 parallel quests have been added and these parallel quests are hard to the bone I mean at one minute you can be fighting um, a random character you could be fighting a uh, Gohan Goku Pan Vegeta so on all of a sudden the screen will flash red and then the whole scenario will change to where a boss or a villain from the Dragon Ball Z timeline can come and wreck your shit. Now, combat is faster, it's fluent, it's not as jagged. Sometimes it can be a little hard to keep up because the camera can sometimes get in your way. Dragon Ball Z has never been able to perfect their camera angles, but the control and the high speed action makes up for that. 
especially in midway combat when the controls are a cross between the Tenkaichi series and the Budokai series. So anybody who is familiar with the Budokai regular two uh, sideway fighter and the massive scale of the Tenkaichi series, you will feel comfortable with this because with this, it's a kind of blend of the two and you will easily get the hang of it. You can activate your special attacks on the fly, activate your items, transform or detransform through the combat battle. You must focus though. If you are playing with a character with high incredible stamina or key, remember all your attacks are based on the amount of key you build up and your stamina, if you are hit hard enough by your opponent, it can break your stamina bar and you can be left open for attack. So it's not just go in, hammer away at your enemy. You really need to think on what you're gonna do. You need to figure out what attacks you wanna whip out on your enemy, especially in teamwork. With team battles, that is what you really need to focus on because if you guys just go in gung-ho thinking you're the greatest fighter, you will get your balls rocked to the wall because these enemies do not fuck around. These enemies will play, play at you and the difficulty rate goes up to 10 stars. 10 stars of difficulty. But you can go into these parallel missions with not only your created character, you can choose from the huge roster of DBZ characters in this game. The DBZ characters have been fully fleshed out with their own attacks. You have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, which Dragon Ball Super is coming to the DLC packets. And I cannot wait to buy those expansions because I want to play through the Dragon Ball Super storyline. I've been watching the episodes. I really enjoy the show. And I'm glad that Dragon Ball Super made its debut in this game because it finally belongs. And this game does leave off for a third Xenoverse, and I actually cannot wait for that. So the final thing I do want to talk about is the storyline. How is the storyline? The storyline, it's actually better than the first Xenoverse. This game feels more story complete because it takes the original Dragon Ball Z timeline, the Dragon Ball non-canon movies, and the canon movies, and tries to meld it all in one unique story with the time patrols, and Mira and Toa have once again returned to cause hell, but the difference is they're calling upon the movie characters Metacooler, Janemba, Lord Slug, Torless. All these characters are being called to fuck up the DBZ timeline, but you know what? It's a lot better than the first game where it was just Mira and Toa causing problems. They are actually working with the villains from the non canon universe to attack the canon universe. This storyline I really enjoy, but I don't want to say the rest of what happens because it has great animated scenes. Animation, better than the TV show and better than the movies. But the 3D cutscenes are really good. The dubbing is really good. The effects are really good. Especially when the cutscenes of the three-dimensional cutscenes, such the gaming ones, and the game itself blend together seamlessly. So, Dragon Ball, if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, this is the game for you. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, with it still, it still has its little quirks about it, but the game is good. I give it a 7.5, so I hope you have it. And if you're a DBZ fan, I guarantee you're already playing it right now. I'm going to get back to playing it because I've already beat the campaign, and I'm a level 65, and I'm still going. So I'm getting myself ready for the World Martial Arts Tournament. Until next time, guys, that's John with John Kill 3D Gaming, and may you go out there on your journey to collect the 7 Magic Dragon Balls and get your wish granted.